Hi, I'm Ken Shirley. I'm back with another frame drum lesson. Today we are doing a practice flow that is focused on developing your sense of inner time. Okay, this practice flow moves from groupings of eight pulses down to groupings of three pulses. It's a fairly fast metronome. The idea is to stay as relaxed with that tempo as possible to stay in time with the metronome. Each pulse grouping from eight down to three has two exercises. One is an open one, which is you play a dum on the first one of the grouping and a snap on the last one of the grouping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or if it's six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So that's the open one. The second one is a filled one using tekas on every beat that move twice as fast as the metronome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Teka, 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 teka. On the first pulse of every group, play it as a dum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or if it's in seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'll hear the metronome the whole time, and I will call the changes when we move from eight to seven to six, to five, four, and three. This idea of inner time is very important in lots of musical traditions, but in South Indian music, Carnatic music especially, there's a word which is used called laya or layam. And laya literally refer, well, laya refers to a number of different elements, rhythmic and temporal elements within Carnatic music, but specifically it's talking about your inner time. If you say someone has good laya, it means that they have a strong sense of inner time. So that's what this practice flow is designed to do, is to make you stronger in your laya. Okay, now you can hear the fast metronome going. The goal is to stay in time with that metronome as much as possible. Now, how do we do that? The first thing is, don't worry about it, okay? Uh, developing a good, healthy relationship with a metronome is part of this um, process of, of working on your inner time, okay? So my first advice is just listen to it. That's all. It's just trying to give you some information. The information is, this is steady, mechanized, unyielding, unbending sense of flow. And it doesn't work the way that musicians do. When we play with other musicians, we tend to adapt to each other's sense of time, okay? We bend a little bit, we shift a little bit. The metronome is just there to remind you that you're human. So, let's start with a grouping of eight, and I will call whether we're doing open or filled. The open one, we play dum on the first pulse of the group and snap on the last. The filled, it's tekas all the way through with a dum on the first pulse. Let's start with the open one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Filled. Keep these light. Relax into the tempo. Next one, we're going to move to seven. Open in seven. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Filled. Filled. 
Fields. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this practice flow to develop your inner time. Please subscribe to the channel if you'd like more videos about rhythm, drumming, and percussion.